But the way that he came home, I mean, because we just talked about how you would do certain things mm -hmm. to, 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 to jeopardize who you are. Indeed. But he comes home on a step where he had spoke on some people, but they just happened to be dead. Mm -hmm. How, I mean, is this something that you would, you, is this something you would have done? No, 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 no. I, I actually had a situation like that with this case, with my case. You know, I'm not to uh, take any, uh, throw any jabs at him, you know what I'm saying? But at uh, the same time, that's not something I would have done, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's not the way it go, man. They got other people, families who got to put up with that hurt. That, that, yeah. that shame that you draw on their family, you know what I'm saying? Now, if certain guys in the game, bro, they put so much work in the game, you know, where they over, I'm talking about they maxed out in the game, bro, you know what I mean? Some some guys catch that flag, bro, because, you know, people look at them as uh, scumbags, even though they're some mighty kids or whatnot. Motherfuckers will throw charges on them. You know, they did, so they'll throw it on them. It won't look any different from all the other charges, yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Wow, I gotta ask you about uh, Gangster Terrence Williams. Mm -hmm. He out here on the internet, man, and he, hey, hey, everybody see what's going on. Uh, Boosie mm -hmm. has some real harsh words to say about telling on somebody who, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, the I dead. And, and that. I'm, I'm just trying to understand, you were locked up with this guy. Mm -hmm. Both and, of them. With Boosie as well? Yeah, Boosie so was in he Angola said, when I was up. He said Boosie was in protective custody when mm -hmm. he was in Angola. Is that true? Well, I heard that, man. The guy was, the guy, the situation that Boosie was in, from my understanding, he was in the camp with me at one time. Boosie had money when he come to jail. Simple as that. He had money when he come to jail. I mean, and all uh, the little situation with Angola by our population and the way the prison is being ran, it's open, it's wide open. It's not a lockdown prison. So I'm talking about it's very wide open. It's not like any other prison on the inside. So it's a lot of movement, a lot of movement. So um, with his money, they knew he could have kind of dictated a lot of shit in prison. So um, they held him in the cells for a while. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So he went through everything he had to, to get out the cells. I know this for a fact. He was literally trying to come in population. He made it out, but they sent him to a camp that wasn't really known for, you know, it was like, you know, close to a trustee camp. It wasn't no population. I mean, it was population, but it wasn't no uh, PC or no shit like that. Yeah, he came out. He come out. He came wow. Out. So we, so you, well, how was the temperature when he was there? People just knew. He uh, yeah, well, I mean, you know, like I said, bro, um, and Angola, just not to take no credit for them guys, you know what I'm saying? But rappers don't, they don't actually move pieces in Angola like that, you know what I'm saying? In Angola, man, you really got to put your work in to be respected in that. You're not you just come to jail and because you, you know, and you take over shit. No, it didn't work like that, you know what I'm saying? So they were good. You're a pretty good guy. Wow. Uh, I just, I, I look at, you know, when he was locked up and then he went into a, I think he went in for a, a uh, uh, eighteen month stint, I want to say it's been a while, but then he ended up had kids. They charged him for murder while he was doing this time, mm -hmm. and then they they start you know they tried him for murder. Start billing cases. They start yeah. billing cases yeah. on him. You thought he was just going for uh, this period of time, and then coming home, but it ended up being somewhere where they tried to shift it, mm -hmm. and then he he winds up on death row, mm -hmm. and that's at Angola, mm -hmm. and that's, that's where and you were there during that time. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. crazy. And Terrence was there during that time. No, well, gangster. I was in Paris with gangster. Okay, so yeah, he wasn't there. He wasn't even there during that time. Gangster, no, gangster didn't come to Angola. Gangster never been to Angola. So how do he know what kind of time Boosie was in and what what type of temperature he was on? Well, I mean, because of his you know his street ties, you know. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of guys that he dealt with on the inside. I'm um, a guy that you know I used to deal with him heavy too, you know. So. Uh, it's easy for him to find out find certain out. things at that point, you know what I mean? Right now, I don't know if the guy's actually, you know, putting him in people business like that right now, but uh, at that time, bro, you know, he, he knew. definitely knew a lot of guys inside of prison. But with, with the way that he came home, I mean, cause we just talked about how you would do certain things mm -hmm. to, 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 to jeopardize who you are. Indeed. But he comes home on a step where he had spoke on some people, but they just happened to be dead. Mm -hmm. How, I mean, is this something that you would, you, is this something you would have done? No, 
no, no, no. I, I actually had a situation like that with this case, with my case. You know, not to uh, take any, uh, throw any jabs at him, you know what I'm saying? But at uh, the same time, that's not something I would have done, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's not the way it go, man. They got other people, families, who got to put up with that hurt, that, that, yeah. that shame that you draw on their family, you know what I'm saying? Now, if certain guys in the game, bro, they put so much work in the game, you know, where they over, I'm talking about they maxed out in the game, bro, you know what I mean? Some, some guys catch that flag, bro, because, you know, People look at them as uh, scumbags, even though they're somebody's kids or whatnot. Motherfuckers will throw charges on them. You know, they did, so they'll throw it on them. It won't look any different from all the other charges he had. Mm. Uh, so uh, and, and, that was his case. Okay. Yeah, and I get it, because I just say, you know, with you being locked up with him and seeing it just a close, it's a, it hits home, you know what I that's, mean? That's, where where you definitely was seeing things happen and you seen, he was released before you. Who gangster? Yes, he was. He yes, was. Yes, yes. yes. And and you remember when he came home? Yes, yes. What, was it a thing where people were talking about the yes, way he came yes, home? Yes, yes, yes. Is that some because he could he have not just said nothing about it and it would have been cool or they were gonna find out? Man, well, either way it go, man. I mean, gangster know he know the streets. Period. He know the streets through and through. His decision was his decision, and I mean, hey, man, gangster like um, gangster don't give a fuck. He really don't, he don't. I mean, it fucks with him a little bit because I can imagine that he loved the reputation he had. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he said he made his transition, that he's not in the street any longer. I would hope that's the fact. You know, I would hope that's a fact, you know, that he's not in the street any longer, but uh, ain't gonna give a fuck what nobody say about him. Wow. Yo, he been like that since a kid. We did Juvenile Joseph together in Scotland and everything, so I've been on it. You know what I'm saying? That shit don't mean nothing to him. He loved the entertainment. Mm -hmm. That's his shit. He loved it. He that's loved his, it. That's his shit. That's he, his been, shit. And, and that's something I'm. I, I just look at how, how you know, like you, the way you done it, it wasn't right the way you got you know mm -hmm. done. You know that mm -hmm. you know, but to hold it down and just stay true to who you are, mm -hmm. I think it says a lot about your character. Yes, yes. That's yes, real. Yes, that's one hundred. That's all yes. I can say. That meant something to me. Yeah, and it means something to the streets. Excuse me, but you know, yes, yeah, <laughs> it meant something to me. You know, when yeah. it's about me, bro. You know, I mean, conscious, very conscious of the things I do, bro. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Did you know Sterling? Well, I knew him, but not personally. I know okay. Him from seeing him. Wow. You yes. know. Yeah, I know if they, I know if they hold their crew. I was on the streets when they was moving around, you know. So I knew all of them, you know. Yeah. Stone, I was locked up with him. Scotland, all us was locked up together. I always hear about Master Pete, brother. <coughs> I never hear stories. So it, Kevin Miller, back when he was, you know, when they were young, I never heard. I, I guess it was before they time. Yeah. They had to be very young because mm -hmm. when I heard him rap about him, even when we were, when I was listening to Pete early on, mm -hmm. cause Pete really was for me the first one that came. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, yes, yes. Out from these parts, but yeah, he was in L.A. To the light, yeah. uh, you know, he was in California. And it was like a big deal for me when I heard Ice Cream Man and all that. His run was ridiculous. Yes, indeed. And, and, and that hustle is undeniable. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and he changed a lot of people's lives. Yes, yeah. And, yes, and yeah. I think about it because a lot of people talk about the Birdman's and the Masterpiece. And I have to say, all the people that were connected to them had, had great runs and great lives, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No matter how you look at it. Yeah, no matter how you cut the slice. They yeah. Ate, they you can't, they yeah, ate, didn't they? They, they, they ate. So, from so where they come from, I, they ate. I love it, uh, and, and 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 Kevin Miller was was with the Tuesday Crew. Okay, I didn't know that, but at the end of the day, I, I just I, I always think about how the music moved down. I always love Louisiana, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I ain't gonna lie. I say it all the time. Mm -hmm. though. People from Louisiana, anything to do with Louisiana, I just I love it. You know what I'm saying? Because I was yeah. born five miles from Louisiana. I could have been almost over here. I grew up coming over that state line though. All the time. <laughs> all the Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.